Ready to go? Yep. Okay, hi guys. Uh, suspect you can probably hear me. I'm having to hold my mask up because the microphone is in the mask right there. That's the way that you can hear me. There's a waterproof microphone in there. So we figured before we jump down and start the dive and show you the grouper, we had a beautiful day out here on the spawning aggregation site. Uh, this is really rare. You know, almost never get weather like this. So we've been absolutely blessed to have wonderful weather. And that's perfect for you guys because it means there's a really good chance we're going to see lots of big fish up close and personal. Before we jump in, uh, we show you the Sea Keeper, the RV Sea Keeper. This is the Cayman Islands Department of the Environment Research Vessel. That's Mr. Bradley. You remember him. He came and hung out with us in the class. He's talking to Todd right now. Okay. Uh, and, and Bradley's talking no, to Todd right now. Set up now. And then we've got uh, the Sea Keeper's crew of Kevin and Delwyn, who are keeping us healthy and safe during our diving activity. So that's the cabin. That's where the base of operations is for our, um, our video live streaming. And then we have a satellite dish at the top, on, on the top deck here of the Seakeeper, that connects the internet that we have here on the boat towards uh, land. We have a separate separate satellite dish uh, that that uh, is exactly the same, identical, on land. And those two things connect to each other to make a, a high-speed wireless bridge. And that's how we're able to stream to you guys. You hear audio? So. All right. I'm going to jump in. Here we go. for you. Yeah. How many eggs does one female have? Okay, the question is how many eggs does one female have? That's actually a really great question and one that I'm not sure I have the answer to. It's certainly thousands and thousands of eggs. Now, some fish like salmon have tens of thousands of eggs. Some of fish like tuna can produce millions. I'm not sure exactly how much death our group will make, but I do know this. The bigger the fish is, the more eggs that fish produces. And, it, and it's not just a lot more, a huge amount more. So bigger fish produce many, many more eggs than do younger fish. And that's why it's important that we have those big fish on the reef, because those big fish are the ones that are mostly responsible for reproduction for that population. The big fish matter a whole bunch because they produce a lot of eggs, and also better quality eggs. Actually, the, the, the bigger female makes eggs that are they're better able to survive and furnish ultimately new uh -huh. babies on the reef. Sorry, guys. Another question for you, Bryce. Last one. Are there other grouper that are endangered, or is it just the NASA grouper? Yes, that's a great question. The question is, are there Not other there. types of groupers that are endangered? We're going to start heading up now, because I'm reaching the end of my time, but I'll answer that question as we head up. There are, in fact, yes, uh, many different kinds of grouper, both here and in the Caribbean, that form spawning aggregations. NASA grouper are probably the most famous for their spawning aggregations because they really form the largest and most predictable, but lots of different species of grouper do that. And because of that, there are already species of grouper that are either threatened or in danger due to their due to the fact that they, they, they get together like this and they're they're easy to fit. So yes. There are several different species of grouper 